Perfect. Cool. Here we go. All righty. Hello and welcome, everybody. Welcome. Oh my goodness, look at all these wonderful people joining us. Well, hello. So today we are here to do the story of Goldilocks and the three, one, two, three bears. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and begin with some hellos because of course you probably want to know who I am and who those lovely ladies are. <laughs> They are my friends. So I am Jenny. My name is Jenny. And ladies, do you want to say hello? Yes, my name is Sylvia. Hello, everyone. My name is Susie. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Well, today we want to have fun with you and learn some new words. But first, Hmm. Well, let's talk about who we are and where we are. So I see many people and they are starting to say hello. If you want to type, you can say hello too. And where are you? Ooh, Sylvia, Susie, where are you? I am in Spain, Barcelona, Spain. And and I am obviously in Barcelona, Spain too, with Susie. And are Jen you sure? <laughs> oh my goodness! You? So many people. Oh, I love it! I love it. So we have, ooh, Olga saying hi. We have, oh my goodness, what a beautiful name, Manaskevi in Canada. Oh someone as in Madrid. Oh, Rita from Tunisia. Oh my goodness, you guys are everywhere. Wow. Marcella and Nora in Italy. Oh my goodness. There are so many people in the room here. This is amazing, you guys. Milan so from Serbia. Exciting. This is amazing. I even saw one person from Portland, Oregon. That's right next to me. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I saw Anna from Italy. I saw Lola from Serbia, Jao from Brazil, Cornelia from Poland. There's some really good names as well. Valeria. Bah, welcome, welcome, everyone. And a lot of brothers and sisters. I see a lot of siblings coming to join together. That's awesome. You guys can practice telling the story and answering questions after too. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, Susie, Sylvia, should we begin? Yes, I'm excited to start the story. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's begin with a little bit of vocabulary. Ho, ho, ho. So we will talk about Goldilocks and the one, two, three bears. But who is who? Hmm. I don't know. I think we need some help. Susie, Sylvia, look at the picture. Look at letter A at the top. Who is it? Do you think it's mommy? Mm. Daddy? No. Baby bear? Yes. Um. I think it might be Baby Bear, but perhaps we should ask the children. Maybe. Can you guys? Oh, look, you guys already know. I see people already saying, num or sorry, letter A. <laughs> letter A is Baby Bear. Okay, that's perfect, guys. Let's look because we still need to find Mummy Bear, Daddy Bear, and Goldilocks. Hmm. Well, what do you think for B? Who can type the answer for picture B? Oh, and Susie, you know, you, we were talking about the voice for this character. And Sylvia and I like to make a big voice for this character. But Susie, what do you think he sounds like? Hi. <laughs> I love it, yes. <laughs> and you 
But I see so many correct answers. Susie, can you tell us what is the answer for B? It's Daddy Bear. Good. Well done, Mariam G. Yoon. Oh, there are so many. Fabrizio, Mariangeles, Lola, Milana, Adele, Camelita, Manashi. Good job, guys. It's us. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so two more characters. Hmm, gee, I wonder what could letter C be? Oh, she looks like mine. Hmm, C. Look at that. Oh, I see some correct answers already. Let me ask a question, Susie. It's Does me. this look like your mummy? <laughs> Do you think that looks like your mummy? <laughs> A little bit. I help Susie get breakfast in the morning. <laughs> That's what's similar to my mummy too. So Susie, is that the answer? Is C mummy bear? Yes, um, C is mummy bear. <laughs> Perfect. And we had so many correct answers for this one too. Oh my goodness, Eduardo. We have Ayulam. That's beautiful. Lola. Oh, nice, nice. And Adele, Eva. You guys are really good at this. Okay. Susie, can you do the last one for us? Can you look at the last picture? So guys, um, who is letter D? Um, good, I already see like some good answers. Uh-huh, so Eva's very quick to know which one is, what did Eva say? Um, Eva, Eva, Eva said Goldilocks. And she was right, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, she was. Yes, I love it. So good, you guys. Oh my goodness. And they're right. You are fast at typing. I am really impressed. That's very nice. <laughs> okay, so we know our characters. Susie, Sylvia, do you have any questions about the characters before we look at more words? I don't. Do I you? Don't. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, okay, these are important words for the story. So we need to do more matching. Hmm, okay, we'll go a little bit faster for this one because you guys are really good at typing. <laughs> okay, let's look at A. What do we see here? Susie, let me ask you a question. Do you have something like this in your house? Yes, I do. I have lots of them in my house. Nice. Actually, me too. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we already have correct answers for picture A. What is it? Susie? It's a chair. Yes. <laughs> it's a chair. Nice job, you guys. It's a chair. Nice. Oh, and some of you are typing complete sentences. Wow. Wow. Yes, it's a chair, Miriam said. Okay. Armchair. That's very good vocabulary, an armchair. It's a chair with arms. So it's an armchair. Very comfortable. Nice, oh my goodness. Okay, you guys are going faster than I am. Okay, we need to go faster because everybody's coming up with the answers already. All right, well B, I actually think there might be two things in picture B. Hmm. Sylvia and Susie, when you look at picture B, what is the first thing that you see? Well, I see um, a house, which yes. lots of people are already saying in the chat box. Yes. Um, where, where is, is the house? <laughs> exactly. It's in a forest. A forest. I love it. And look, you guys, so many correct answers. People are saying the house in the forest. The house is in the forest. You guys are good. Oh my goodness. And you're moving faster than I am because I think you already know what picture C might be. Hmm. Let me ask you a question, Susie. Mm -hmm. 
Do you think you would make friends with these animals? No. Never <laughs> in the million years I would. No? <laughs> oh, aren't they cute though? <laughs> they look cute, but I think they could be a little bit dangerous. Dangerous or frightening. Ooh, if oh, I God. saw a bear in the forest, I might run away very fast. <laughs> Me too. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. Look at your answers. Bear, bear in a forest. Somebody even knows the answer, bear cub. Susie, what is a bear cub? A bear, a bear cub is a small bear. A baby bear. A baby bear, basically. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Bear cub. That's perfect. Nice job. All right. I see answers for D already. Susie, do you want to lead D? Uh, so D is something you can eat in the morning. My dad normally has that for breakfast. Nice. Makes a mess in the kitchen. <laughs> I make a mess when I make this too. I understand. <laughs> Sylvia? Yeah. Um, do you know how to make it? <laughs> I do, but I can see we have some smart kids on the call today. So I'm going to give you a challenge. For bonus points, who can tell me what fruit is in the porridge? There's any nice. nice. So, oh, Sylvia, what were you looking for? What did you see? Good blueberry and raspberries and strawberries. It looks delicious. It looks absolutely delicious. Everyone. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> what did you have for breakfast this morning? Susie, what did you have for breakfast this morning? I had some cereal for breakfast. This you morning had some cereal. With Jenny, some milk. what did you have for breakfast? Well, I'm still having my breakfast. I have a breakfast smoothie. <laughs> so I take the fruit that you guys are talking about and mix it together. <laughs> Perfect. And Costanza is saying she has milk and biscuits for breakfast. Samir says he had eggs and toast. Yummy. Nice job, guys. Dan oh. said he had a bowl of porridge. Mariam says a boiled egg bread and cucumber. Lola some tuna fish, yummy. Um, Eva some yogurt. Oh, lots of delicious breakfast here. Bagel and cheese. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, we have to stop talking about food. I'm getting so hungry. <laughs> okay, we have one more picture. One more picture. Then we'll do a little, a little matching and then we'll go to our story. So for picture E, oh, that looks comfortable. That looks really nice. I think this might be in a bedroom. What is inside that room? Hmm. Oh, I see many correct answers. <laughs> Susie, do you want to give us the answer for E? What is in that room? In picture E, there's a bed. Suits her. Lots of people said that, which is very good. Smart. Awesome. Absolutely. You guys are so smart. Does your bedroom look like this, Susie? No. <laughs> My mom's and dad's bedroom. I understand. Mine doesn't look like it either. It's okay. It's a pretty bedroom. <laughs> oh, oh, some of you are saying you wish you had a bedroom like that. I understand, it is very pretty with the lights. I like the lights too. Oh, nice job, you guys. Okay, let's continue. And Sylvia, do you want to lead this one? I know you've thought about opposites a lot. Yes, yeah, so I love opposites. I love teaching opposites. So for example, Susie is young and I am old. No, I'm beautiful. That is the right answer. <laughs> Oh no. Are your mom old? So Susie is young 
and I am old. But we have some other opposites. We have soft and hard. So what's soft, Susie? A pillow, a teddy bear, lots of things are soft. Exactly. And what's hard? The wall is the hard. Table. The table is hard. Very true. Now, do you want to have a look at some other opposites? So if I ask Susie to do something and you guys have to look at Susie and guess which of these adjectives she is doing. So Susie, go for it. So do you know what Susie's doing? She's saying she's hungry. hungry. And what is the opposite of hungry? Anyone know? Good. Jenny is thirsty. So we've got hungry and thirsty. Although we've got some good suggestions here as well. They're saying full. So you could be hungry and you could be full, full. when you've eaten all of your food. And we've had big and small. So good job, guys. And perhaps if I'm tired, oh, what is the opposite of tired? Awake. Well done, Eva. Good. You're tired and you are awake. So good, I think we know all of our opposites already. So why don't we start the story? Shall yeah, we? Do it. Yeah. Okay, oh my goodness. Look at these amazing answers though. I just wanna say, you guys are correct. We have a lot of words and phrases in English that have similar meanings or more than one opposite idea so nice so like tired full of energy great creative answer or active yeah cool all right you guys are impressing me let's go ahead we're going to start the story and we made a little agreement susie is going to help me read the story and we decided sylvia could be beautiful and she might have some ideas in the middle though. <laughs> I might have some questions, so listen carefully. <laughs> yes, okay, here we go. Ready, Susie? Yeah, I'm ready. Cool. I like this one too. All right, let's start the story. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks and she went for a walk in the forest she saw a house she knocked and when no one answered she walked right in oh my goodness oh no <laughs> that's kind of rude right very rude Susie, do you walk into people's houses? No. Just any house? Yeah, that's a little dangerous even maybe. <laughs> so Goldilocks is very brave. Hmm, okay, well, what happens next? In the kitchen. At the table in the kitchen, there were one, two, three bowls of porridge. I'm getting hungry again. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy Bear's porridge had figs. Mummy Bear's porridge had blueberries. Baby Bear's porridge had grapes. Goldilocks was hungry. I'm hungry. Nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have a question. Three bowls of porridge. Which one would you want to eat? I like mummy bear's porridge because I love blueberries and blackberries. Yes. Nice. David says he wants the one with grapes. Lola wants the one with grapes from baby bear. Ooh, many fans of baby bears. Susie, which one would you eat? 
I would eat mummy's mummy bears because I love blackberries and blueberries and all those type of berries. Yeah. I agree, actually. I would too. <laughs> wow, look at this. Is there nobody? Oh, okay. There's Eduardo who's going to eat daddy bears. Okay. At least somebody will eat daddy bears. You don't want any porridge left over. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> you can keep thinking, but let's continue. Goldilocks eats the porridge. She tasted the porridge from the first bowl. This porridge is too hot. She exclaimed. So she tasted the porridge from the second bowl. This porridge is too cold. She said. So she tasted the last bowl of porridge. Oh, this porridge is yummy. She said happily and ate it all up. <gasps> Oh no, naughty Goldilocks. What's Baby Bear going to eat? Oh my goodness. Oh, well, what else is Goldilocks going to do? Hmm, let's see. Here are these chairs, the armchair that you guys saw earlier. Well, what is she going to do here in the living room? After she'd eaten the three bears breakfasts, she decided she was feeling oh, a little tired. She wants to sit down on a chair. So she walked into the living room where she saw one, two, three chairs. Hmm. I don't know, which one would you sit in, Susie? I would sit in mummy's chairs. It looks very comfortable. Hmm. Sylvia, which one would you choose? I like mummy's chair, but I like daddy's chair because it's near the fire. So I would be warm. I agree with that. Yes. <laughs> nice. And we have a lot of different preferences, many different preferences in our group. Some of you like mummy's chair. Ooh. Some people are even picking baby's chair. It is pretty, yes. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Goldilocks breaks the chair. Oh. Oh, this chair is too big. She exclaimed. So she sat in the second chair. This chair is too big too. She whined. So she tried the last and smallest chair. Ah, this chair is just right. She sighed. But just as she settled down into the chair to rest, crack, <gasps> it broke into pieces. Goldilocks was sad. That's bad. She broke Baby Bear's chair. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if she can fix the situation. I don't know. Do you guys know what's going to happen? She's going to do one more thing. Let's see. Goldilocks falls asleep. Goldilocks was very tired by this time. So she went upstairs to the bedroom. She lay down in the first bed, but it was too hard. Mm. She lay down in the second bed, but it was too soft. Then she lay down in the third bed and it was just right. Goldilocks no. fell asleep. <sighs> Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, maybe I snore. Do you snore, Susie? No. I of course not. Of course not. No. <laughs> A little bit, maybe. <laughs> Do you guys snore? <laughs> if you're sleeping in a good bed, maybe. <laughs> no, no, 
nobody yeah, snored on this yeah. call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one person, one person. Eduardo says he snores. Oh, maybe David too. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, let's see what happens. Who ate the porridge? As she was sleeping, the three bears came home. Someone's been eating my porridge, growled the papa bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said the mama bear. Someone is eating my porridge and they ate it all up. Cried the baby bear. Oh, poor baby bear. Oh. Uh oh, I think I know what's going to happen next. Do you guys know? What are they going to do when they see the chairs? <sighs> Who broke the chair? Someone's been sitting in my chair. Growled the Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said the Mama Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair. They've broken it all to pieces, <laughs> cried the Baby Bear. Oh, poor Baby Bear. Mm, I feel really bad for Baby Bear. Oh, I wonder if we can make this correct. Let's see if we, let's see if we can do it. Okay, the bears find Goldilocks. The bears decided to look around some more and when they got upstairs to the bedroom, Papa Bear growled. Someone's been sitting and sleeping in my bed. Someone's been sitting, sleeping in my bed too said the mama bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed and she's still there! Exclaimed oh. the baby bear. <gasps> oh. oh my goodness, that's a little bit dangerous. If I were Goldilocks, I might run away. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, that is what she does. Goldilocks runs away just then. Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. She screamed, Help! and she jumped up and ran out of the room. Goldilocks ran down the stairs, opened the door, and ran into the forest. And she never returned to the home of the three bears. <laughs> yes, nice guys. <laughs> Good advice. Oh my goodness. Susie, is that the end? Yes, that is <laughs> the end. The end. Oh my goodness. What a brilliant little story to share with you. I loved it. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to move us to one last page. And Hmm, we have a few questions we can end with. Sylvia, do you want to take over at the very end here? Yeah, absolutely. So, how many bears are there? Be careful. This is a difficult question. You have to really look at the whole room to know how many bears there are. That's a good clue. Good. Some people are already saying it well. So I can see three bears in a picture. I can see three, three, three bears real, bears. real bears. And I can see one teddy bear. Good. So, so there is seven, seven bears in the picture. Did you get that? Good. Okay, the next question. Who is awake in the bed? Goldilocks, well done. Goldilocks is awake in the bed. Who is big in the picture? Who is big? I see some correct answers. Yes, it's the daddy bear. Daddy bear. 
good. A mummy bear is pretty big too. Who is small? Baby bear? Goldilocks? Susie? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is small. Good job, guys. What colour is the teddy bear? Who knows their colours? What colour? Oh, blue, 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 blue. blue, blue. blue. Fantastic. <laughs> it is blue. And finally, the last question. Who has yellow trousers? Daddy bear. Good. Well done, everybody. This has been such fun. I've had a really good time. Thank you everybody for coming and helping us with our story. Thank you guys. Wonderful work today. I love all the creative answers. Thank you so much for participating. And maybe we see you on Wednesday. On Wednesday, we have another webinar talking about family and food. And then next week, it's Hansel and Gretel. And Gretel. Another story. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, Susie. Bye, Bye Sylvia. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, Bye Francie. <laughs> Bye-bye.